Hey, what's up guys? It's me, Spectre right here in another video in Cosmeteer. So I've done some stuff offline. I've built a new ship. Um, I'm not sure how good it is or how overzealous I got with trying to add too many weapons or components for the size and crew I have, but I thought I'd show you. So first off, I tried to put a little bit more effort into the paint job. I tried to follow some of the, like the natural lines that happen in between components with colors and stuff like that. I'm fairly happy with it. Um, but let me know what you guys think. I don't know. It's uh, a little bit better than, uh, <laughs> than this one. But, you know, I don't know. This one will always hold a special place in our hearts, I think. <laughs> but let's get into the ship. Uh, Let's... Actually... This is a pretty good way to look at the ship. So here we have it. We've got, I really like the cannons. So I wanted to keep at least two regular cannons and I decided to try to add one of the larger ones as well. Um, but I also found that I think these little laser guns will end up being helpful. I actually forgot to look. The range is 260. This one's range is 190. Yeah, so. I mean, for a little bit more distance for those ones that were always flying away from us too quickly, I think he's useful. Added some on the sides because they can rotate up, I think. The, that's what it looks like it can do. And then a couple point defense. You'll notice I really held on to symmetry because I'm a, a symmetric boy. I like my symmetry in ships. Um, I noticed that a lot of the next tier ships have these shields um, that were becoming a pain. So I decided to add some myself to kind of help myself last longer in the battle. Um, added two factories so I can store more sulfur rather than ammunition, even though this station doesn't have hardly any sulfur. Uh, to then build uh, regular ammunition for our cannons. Uh, capacitors to fuel all the battery stuff up here. I'm hoping that's going to work. If not, I'll replace this section with another generator. Um, and obviously some more storage, a larger cockpit, because then in, uh, engines, engines and mobility. Now, I did some things, you may have gotten a glimpse of it, where I tried to organize where stuff can go. So these three storage areas can only hold ammunition. So I think that's how it works. Then I parted off sections of these to just hold sulfur and then whatever extra stuff I have. I don't know if it will, once these spots are full, if it'll spill over into these areas designated as sulfur. I, I just don't know. Um, <laughs> so I guess we'll see. Um, and then I tried to do, is it this? Aha. I tried to do like resource direction management. So power will go out to all those things. And then these will supply power to these. Uh, symmetric on both sides. And then we got the storage area, supplies sulfur to these, which then supplies ammunition to these. Um, so hopefully that kind of helps the, like the flow of materials a little bit better. Now on top of that, I also added some crew management stuff. So I, what you can do is you can come into these and, oh, hey, I didn't realize I could possibly assign modules to different crews as well what i did is i uh went into the crew management because you can do something what is it is it this edit role and you can come into job priorities and i prioritize the job so that we have engineers who are more in charge of supplying stuff to engines and then supplying power to the capacitors and stuff like that and driving the ship and then you have the gunners who are who's their, whose main priority is to operate the guns. And then you have the munition experts whose main priority is to supply power to the weapons and the shields and munition. Um, also, the engineers supply sulfur to the factories and then the munition uh, munitions roll, you know, takes that ammo, stores it. So hopefully that helps. But I'm curious. I didn't actually see what this... Can I click on these rolls? No, I need to turn that off on. Is this just telling me who's sitting where at the moment?
But hold on. If I click on that. Oh, I can order squads to be in charge of... Mm, okay. I might deal with that more later. I think I'm happy with the way I did job priorities. So anyways, I'm kind of hoping that the ship works the way I want it to. We're not really sure. <laughs> but let's go out and do something dangerous. I don't think I can take that on. Um, let's actually travel to another station that might have um, some more jobs. And we'll kind of see what happens. Just looking at it. Our engineers are doing a good job. And I'm hoping that it eventually, if like the chaoticness of trying to supply weapons gets too bad, that there won't be a lot of movement happening. And so as they're low priority, the engineers can help supply as well. Because I didn't make it so none of them couldn't do anything else. So, yeah. Okay, well, let's turn down that game speed. And hail the station. I'm not sure I want to do faction conflicts. I don't know anything about it yet is the problem. Exploration. I want to do a fight, but I'm not sure I want to do that. <laughs> I'm not sure I can handle danger level six. I was kind of hoping for something more on the three level. So let's go check out this other station. Hmm. Okay, so I wasn't planning on this. None of the stations have anything else besides this fighting big bounty. Um, we could go do some exploration. But that seems boring for a video. I'm sure you guys want to see that. So I guess we could try to do this. Might actually check and see if these guys have any sulfur as well. Because I'd like to buy that. Um... Hmm. I don't... I don't know if I need, like, the hyperdrive stuff on my ship. To be able to use, like, the gates. I guess we could try that as well. But maybe I'll do, like, a quick save. And we'll try... This? I have a feeling we are severely gonna be outgunned. Um, but we'll go destroy a pirate base, because we're great, <laughs> right? As the first test run of the ship, we should just go destroy a pirate base. Don't know how many bad guys there are going to be. That's what I'm most concerned about. Uh, but, you know, attack one at a time, maybe. <laughs> well, let's sit here for a second and see if any of them aggro on me. <laughs> I am so dead. So dead. Okay, let's go this way first. Um, okay, let's go back to regular speed. Then let's go attack this guy. Right? Or maybe just kind of move up a little bit and see who <laughs> comes to the Texas first. Come on, one of you guys. I want to try to aggro not all of you at the same time. Maybe you? Horsefly? Yeah, come on. I'm way bigger than him. I should be able to handle that. Oh, sweet. Okay. That fills me with way more confidence that our ship is way bigger than theirs. Maybe I just built a higher level ship than I thought I would have. Okay, the good news is, is so far, power wise and everything, we seem to be, I'm gonna pause real quick, holding up. I know this is upside down. Capacitors and everything so far are holding up. Supply chains, I think, are doing okay. See even some of the engineers up here assisting with things, which is good. And it doesn't look like any of the gunners have had to get off their ship yet, or off their post, which is good. 
Okay, so far so good. These ships aren't all that, all that scary. Maybe it's just a level six because there's so many of them. Take you on. I'm really big and scary. Yeah, look at us go. Oh, that shield is down. Uh, guys, it'd be great if you could power that. Oh, they're struggling to power that. Oh, I need to fight this guy. That guy no longer a threat? Yeah, he's no longer a threat. Okay. Shield is back up online. I guess they're over-prioritizing the weapons, maybe? Hmm. feel about it. Hmm. The shields just go until they run out? It seems like you could just keep powering them, but maybe not. Let's go fight this thing. Let's do a quick repair. As we can. But you know, so far, I mean, for my first system of like trying to like organize things, we're running low on ammunition, which is a little bit concerning. But we are also rocking a lot more. Um, hold on. I don't want my butt showing to those guys the entire time. Come on, rotate. Yeah. Come on. Come on. Engineers, do your job. Maybe I did my jobs a little bit too general speaking. Um. Come on, rotate. Fight this guy now. Doing okay. We're doing okay. We're doing okay. Running low on ammunition, probably. Hmm. What's failing? We've got ammunition places. Just not enough of anything in particular. Let's boost away real quick and then come back and fight this. Um, and we just don't have enough power generation, I guess. And it doesn't seem like there's any more ammunition making it nearly close enough. Some stuff is decently still holding up, though, which is good. I mean, there's ammunition right there. Why can't they grab that? Did I set that up wrong somehow? if I try to generalize things too much. Either way, this station will be a good salvage. I'll try to salvage as much, as much of this as possible. Let's do a quick... call massive repair. And then let's do... Let's do a really nice salvage of all of this. My guys up closer. Yeah. Hmm. Let's rotate real quick. Let's 
salvaging is a lower priority for most of the crew. I think. Yeah, the blue engineers spent the majority of their time trying to get more power up to this capacitor. Which, I'll be honest, I feel like the system worked really well for shorter battles. <clears throat> but this uh, longer battle really, <clears throat> excuse me, pushed things, which was a really good test. I'm just not 100% sure what to do better. Maybe I need to, um, I don't know, maybe micromanage the job priorities a little bit more and make them a little bit less general, like do more job, like do more, um, crew, uh, shirt types, essentially. Um, or if, I don't know, maybe, what's this green guy doing? Okay, now he's pulling stuff from this. Okay, maybe I just need to prioritize uh, like the ammo supplying better. I don't know. Maybe I need to split munitions group into or have one actually dedicated to like these physical munitions and the other one dedicated to like power type weapons. Maybe that's better method. Um, which makes me wonder if it's still better to get rid of these four crew members and either replace it with like a six crew slot up here or Replace one of them with a uh, better power. Hmm. I don't know. We were oriented something like this, I think. But it looks like a lot of crews are getting close to normalizing things. With our ammo reserve, reserves coming way further up, which is good. This will be a good test as to whether other materials can even be placed in the sulfur areas, or if because I deemed them as sulfur, it's impossible for a material to even go there. Um, I have more people out on EVA. So the salvaging of things should go quicker question is, are they just going to salvage and then not pick up the materials because there's no place to put them? Now that that stuff is getting full. I guess we'll see. Some engineers. Yeah, see, there is something to be said about these being continuously supplied by power or shields. I think I do need to just break up the munitions roll. I think that'll help significantly. Um, yeah, I'll let this uh, salvage up. Okay, so yeah, uh, having them designated as sulfur made it so nothing else can go there, so I removed one of the lines. <coughs> Excuse me. I'm gonna allow them to pick up some more stuff. There's still a bunch of goodies here, so I'll probably... I don't know how long stuff that's floating around stays. Um... But I will attempt to come back and collect all this stuff, I think. But this was a pretty good test run. I'm pretty... Instead of rotating, hold on, I'm gonna... Uh, oops. Orient the ship like that so we can look at it proper. Um, And so, I think I have some... Tuning of roles to figure out. And I don't know, maybe this is good enough for this size ship and what I've done. <clears throat> but let me know if... Any of you who have played this more, even if you haven't and you have a suggestion, let me know. I'd be curious to know what you would change and what you would improve. And 
hopefully we'll be able to get to some really cool big ships. And it seems like I was looking through the how to plays. There's a commanding your fleet section. And so it might be really fun to build like, like fine tune this model, so to speak. And maybe build a couple and then build a bigger one or something. Or I don't know, really get into the fleet gameplay of this would probably be kind of fun. Um, but some of this other stuff, like setting this stuff up, I do offline. Sometimes I do it on stream. Um, so you're welcome to come check it out there sometimes if I happen to do it there. Um, but I think we're going to leave the video at that since we've been playing for a bit. And it was a really kind of a fun test run of doing that uh, big battle. I'm going to try to, after I'm done record, after I hit stop on this recording, I'm going to go back and sell all this metal and come back and try to collect more of this so hopefully it sticks around and maybe salvage a couple of these to try to get more monies and it looked like there's some a uh, good amount of munition out here too that i can just hold on to for another big fight of ours um which i think would be nice maybe i'll store it on the other small ship that i have we'll keep it there as like our <laughs> munition piggy bank so to speak um but either way I hope you enjoyed it, and I hope I see you in the next one. See ya.